Hi guys, so my job is DevOps at Unity, and so I maintain the various Docker images and make sure everything runs. And for the front end, which is Meteor, JavaScript, I pretty much wash my hands of it. This is not my domain, but I thought I could be helpful to my colleagues and tell them what they need to implement exactly to integrate Stripe. So I've made a video about Stripe before, I'll link it somewhere. But Stripe is a vital thing that <laughs> SaaS companies like the one I work for use to get money from customers, um, you know, v via invoices or like one-off things or, or, or subscriptions. So subscriptions is what I was going to uh, touch upon. So I implemented something last year. Let me just quickly show you. So the idea is that you put your email in here and you become the customer uh, or, or rather the, the uh, or the or the billing contact in this in this demo. So the billing contact uh, this is just test adds uh, a payment method a name Henry address whatever da, 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 da. actually the address is not needed so here I'm using the stripe JavaScript thing to help me generate this by the way. So there I add the card and then so I have the customer set up, I have the card set up and now I can subscribe myself or other people. So the idea is that this is a billing contact you can you can subscribe other people like you know foobar at example.com or something like that. So it's a bit more versatile in that in that sense. But obviously there's some complexity. Um, I'll try link the source below, but it's a bit of a mess. So um, let's just get rid of this and start again. Let's go into my account and delete all the customers. Yeah, it's all gone. So it only came on my radar like earlier this year that there's this new beta checkout thing. So I looked at the demo, uh, tried out, and it was like, oh wow, this is very slick. This is better than that Stripe thing I just showed you. Um, I've got to try this out. And I've got a demo running here. Um, and this time I can link the source below. You can have a look. So this is what it looks like. You 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 log in, so you know this is this is me. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I must make sure that I use the same email address. This time there's no address, which is good. Less things to type, better funnel. And, and then it just redirects to the page. And then I have a, a webhook to deal with the fact that there's an event coming and then I write out to a, a thing on my bucket to say that it's subscribed. Unfortunately, this takes a couple of seconds. So when it redirects, it's not enough time. But yeah, that, there it is. I think the checkout flow is a lot easier than uh, this flow I devised here. And, as, and the code is also a, a lot less complicated. However, it does come with some caveats caveats are, as I've documented in the GitHub, that if you add a different billing address, then you end up adding a different customer. Oops. So if you're logged in as user Henry Akitafi and you, you put in a different email address, then, then the system kind of falls apart. Uh, I mentioned that it can take a little bit of time for the user to come subscribed. Um, for some reason, with this new Stripe check out beta. I, I've been on the IC channel, they say it's coming, but this cost me a whole day. I was like, where is this event? For some reason, this event doesn't come, so you have to use another event to work up upon. And finally, this this fourth method is, is, is that, 
basically the mapping between customer and subscriptions one to one. So as you may remember my previous demo over at pay.dev.unity.com, it gets a I, I allow I set some metadata in the subscription so I know who who which email that subscription belongs to. But here one customer, one one subscription. So if the subscription goes, the customer must go. Anyway, I hope you can have a look at the code. I hope Stripe developers can get back to me and, and, and say how it could be, how my code could be better, could be more minimal. I'm just coming up, I just wanna come up with the least amount of code for Unity to take to take payment for, for, for its services from its users. And similarly, um, to give you guys a leg up so that you can also use Stripe. And then finally, yeah, please do comment on my code. I'm, I'm a total noob. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe for more. Hope you found that interesting. Taking money is absolutely vital. Absolutely vital.